Chuck's Raw Reviews. Max Edition. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you would notice that um, the Chuck's Raw uh, Chuck's Raw Reviews Max Edition was filmed in a spot with better lighting. That's because it was a public holiday. I was on call and all by myself in the office. And now I'm not. Now, um, I'm actually in my bedroom today. Um, do you like my lovely curtains? Ooh. Anyway. Uh, so, what I'm going to do now is a review. Because that's why you come to listen to my beautiful dulcet dolls. Um, Astro Punk issue one. All right. So let me start off by saying that Astro Punk issue ones have a fair few, um, a, a fair few names um, assigned to this. Now we've got so the we've got two writers. Inco, penciler, inco assistant, colorer, color assistant, which flat, uh, based on what she told me was she was the flatterer, um, editor and so editor, letterer, and <laughs> yes, I'm cheating. You try remembering all this. Um, and design and the cover artist so let me start with the cover artist Steve Tom Steve Thomas all right so Steve Thomas is the very talented bastard that actually did this sorry Steve that's a term of endearment not an insult where I'm from Australia Sydney the earth <laughs> All right, I'm getting annoying. I know. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> um, but check that out. The 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 lighting and yes, I know. I said it many times. Does nothing for this cover. It's an amazing cover. It's a Kickstarter exclusive, I believe. I'd have to check on their website, and if I see it on there, I'll have to burn it down. No, just kidding. Um, it, I, to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't um, a Kickstarter exclusive because it's a freaking amazing cover. It's a really good cover. I love it. The um the whole Art Deco feel to it. It just it just echoes back to the nineteen thirties and nineteen forties of those um those like those old time movie uh posters and it was it was very much all about like that that grandiose simplicity. Um, I just I just love it, and I love it how the it it, it it's both. <coughs> thematically correct and aesthetically appealing um and I'll, I'll i'll tell you why because the story by robert farenholt and kenneth centers um is a really good story it's a very compelling story it's not an overly complicated story um it's a new take on an old story which there are many discourses that says everything is an old take, is a new take on uh, on other stories, but that doesn't mean that they're all bad or that they're all good. It just means uh, uh, it just depends on execution. And boy, did they execute it! It's so good. It's so good, guys. I can't I can't tell you how good it is on the on the maximeter which i just made up right there because that's how we roll baby yeah um it, it's out of five it's uh it's definitely a four oh, come on. i had it when it does that it takes me out of focus um yeah a def a, a, yeah a strong four um and it's a strong four because lettering's good coloring coloring well no actually the, the lettering is bloody awesome because 
Remember how I was saying, oh, the the letter editor and design? That was all done by the one person. Like, so yeah, they had a whole heap of people on this project, but then they they dumped all, all, all the jobs the rest didn't want to do on this one person. Poor dude, Sean. You're amazing. But Sean does a lot of lettering. Sean does a lot of editing as well. Um, Sean's a very good at what he does and he's been doing it for many years. Um, if you're ever in need of a, a really good editor uh, or letterer, um, uh, Sean is hard to pass on. There are plenty of others. Uh, Chuck's a, a writer and an editor. He doesn't letter. Um, but, um, but yeah. Uh, Sean really knows his stuff. I, um, uh, oddly enough, um, the this team was almost identical to the same team that did their first Kickstarter, which was uh, Oathbound. Um, so Kenneth, Kenneth Centers, um, and Paul Gorey, and Sean uh, did Oathbound. Um, uh, and, and that turned out fantastically. Um, there was, uh, a couple of changing hands in that, which you can all see on Kickstarter anyway, but that's, that's beside the point. The, the product that, that came out, um, was amazing. So yeah, totally, um, uh, Astro Punk, go check it out. It's, uh, it's, it's one of those, um, it's one of those books, like, for example, that's, that's actually quite, that's page one, and they accurately and really um, expertly uh, um, zoom in on this world. So planet-wide, um, region-wide, um, um, cityscape, street level, um, more more straight level and then an event and that's on page one you know i haven't well i haven't made a comic book yet but my page one is, is not nearly as 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 chalk filled with information but it it, it 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 reads so well like uh so the saying is uh, Mars 2171 um, and you have you have a really good um, um, you have narration you have an omniscient omniscient narrator which uh, is only on page one it's it's the fact giver it's this is what this is. But then you have another nar narrator, which is tricky. That's really tricky to do. But from a story point of view, and also from a lettering point of view, it's actually tricky. You have to have some visual demarcation of the captions to show that there is, in fact, a different. And they did it um, in, in such a really simple way. Um, cha uh, change the font, change the color of the background, change the border. Um, there's a very, uh, so the factual one, there's a very strong red border, strong yellow background on, on, on a very bold text. Um, but then you meet the actual narrator and the actual narrator is our hard boiled detective. You gain an insight into her life, into her emotional and mental process as she's processing this day and she knows it's going to be a shit day so you're you're set up with this tone that it's yep from here on in it's all downhill and it really is the story backs it up the story pays you off and then the story leaves you with a cliffhanger thinking who's this guy why is this guy important but not in a way that you don't want to know it's like oh it's too jarring no it's events have led you know for example if we look at um indiana jones and the raiders of the lost ark 
right? You think about what was what was the the call to action for Indiana Jones. And it was quite simply the Pink the Pinkertons, the the spies when they came to him. Uh, there's something and I won't spoil it, there's something in this book that actually shows that event. And then um, she decides to turn in and and actually get another another crack at trying to find find the person she needs to find because it starts off as a rescue mission. Well, it starts off as um, I need to find this person before they die. But or or I need to find this person to confirm whether or not she's dead, but um, that's that's how the story starts off with, and then it turns into something else. It turns into the murder, which is great because now we're going to see. Uh, hopefully, in issue number two, we're going to see that she's putting two to the two together, and they're not entirely uh, what's it called? They're not separate. The, the, you don't know who the murder the murderer is either. Um, the murderer links these two events together, whether it's for their own downfall or not is yet to be seen. But um, it's, it's such a really well well written book. Um, it's also beautifully crafted. Like for example. Um, there's, there's there's clear differences in between the 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 detective. He's not affluent, but she's not completely desolate. And these mutants over here, who are essentially the, the genetic castoffs of this world, much like like um much like in Total Recall, um. And there is an uh, uh, there is a philanthropist in this whole mix, um, who's also introduced in this story, and and uh, he's 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 a big part of the, the actual story. So totally, go check it out. It's such a good book. Uh, it's very enjoyable. If you like the hard boiled detective uh, stories, you can't pass it up. You really can't. And and it's got some throwbacks from some. Um, um, it's it's clearly inspired by um, so Dent. Um, I, I feel would be what um, Decker would be like if if he was a she. Um, uh, it also has uh, some Total Recall influences in there as well. So yeah, totally. Just go check it out. It's it's such a great book. Uh, it it's beautifully written beautifully and craftfully uh, created by the artistic team and what what tops it all off is sure makes it all nice and flowing and directs the eye very perfectly um, to 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 where your eye needs to go so it's great it's it's a really easy read took me three minutes to read um, and left me wanting for more um, which is great which is exactly what you want in a floppy well I've spoken for too much. I'll catch you all later. And remember, as Chuck always says, peace, love, and comics.